thought does top two beckon for the Crows and the Suns. Well, they look like they're on the rise again. We're talking footy. Good old-fashioned Saturday afternoon match of the round. And it's lived up to expectations. Bulldog free to Minson. Oh, that's 50. Oh, that 50 and Minson might be within range. Now, he celebrated the moment it hit his foot. Takes off and hits Franklin Lace out within range. But he wastes no time. This will bring the crowd alive. Oh, baby. How good was that? Kennedy. Solid. McLean. Well, it was a great game. What a return, too, for Johansson back into that side, that kick that sealed the win. But you can't help but think that the Sydney Swans would be feeling right now that that's another close one that got away from them, Duck. Yeah, absolutely. That's two now that uh, they should have won in the, the dying moments of the game where uh, they, just had to, they just had to man up. It just allowed Johansson just to run into that space and, uh, and take a mark. And he's a beautiful kick of the footy, as we know, uh, Maxi. Yep. This is the last one and a half minutes, Maxi. And uh, you, you're one of the key defenders in the game. What should have they been thinking right now? I oh, look right there. I think that was right to kick, yeah. um, I guess, long to your ruckman, have numbers there. Here, Lloyd, he actually doesn't kick it for a start. As you'll see, there's three Western Bulldogs players have zoned up really nicely. Um, from here, you need everyone back. Like, they would have known that there's not much time left. There's under a minute left. You don't, you're not thinking about scoring. All you're thinking about is shutting down. So this one here, this is the one that would really frustrate the fact that they couldn't actually cut off that Bonson Pally one. But then from here... The fact that Johannesson's right there next to him, pats him on the backside and says, have a shot, mate, and can just drift into that space, that's, a, that's shocking that that could happen. For a professional team like the Sydney Swans, who are so good at what they do and so structured, that just really surprised me to see that. It's most done Sydney-like, isn't it, though? Yeah, it is. And uh, what, a, what a great finish. I yep. mean, uh, you know, you talk about guys, you want the footy in their hands, just a great user. And you look at their, the Bulldogs from last year, this year. I mean, look at the improvement. And mm. now, clearly... Their attack, points four, is, uh, you know, still maybe a little bit of a concern, yeah. Tim, but because they never they never get far enough in front where the opposition wouldn't think that they can pull them back. But in all the other areas, they have just been absolutely brilliant. This is the real deal. And yeah. I think it was the, the, the time they beat Sydney last year at the SCG where we sort of stood up and said, oh, OK, was this a one-off? Yeah. yeah, they're a good team, they're a good young yeah. team. Yeah. Now they've done it again, twice at the SCG. Yeah. Sydney haven't been beaten there. I mean, they are a serious premiership threat and they've still got a couple of guys that will come back into that side before the end of the year. They're a fair income team. And let's just have a look at the depth too because we all know that if you're going to be a serious contender, you need to have this depth. These are players that played on the left-hand side of the screen in the elimination final loss to the Crows last year. Now, there's some really talented players in that line. But if you look at the players that played in that win at the weekend, Liberatore Smith, who was very, very good in his return, and you forget about how aggressive yep. and strong physical, and yeah. physical. He is suckling, who's been a really good player for them down back. Roughhead, good again. Johannesson, as we know, Marcus Adams came into that side too. So they really have improved their list. But, I mean, there's obviously a couple of players on the other side of the ledger there that they'd like to be able to play. Well, Dalhouse, he'll be back in the sort of next two to four weeks. And I wouldn't rule out completely Bob Murphy. I just think when he, when he did his knee, he would have just been throwing himself into it. He sort of, I guess, got one of those bodies, I reckon, Duck, that doesn't need... He's Hang not on. carrying massive weight or anything. I don't, I don't know anything. I just know that Hang he's, on, but what, he's what, coming what, along What do well. you base that on, though? That's oh, not just a hunch, is it? No, just because when you're in that situation, I think, and you get to the point where you go, righto, this is how long there is in this season. You know he talked about whether or not he was actually going to play on or not. I think he just would have been throwing himself in the rehab. And, look, everything would have to go completely right. But, I don't know, it just it wouldn't surprise me, put it that way. Well, boys, uh, we know that uh, H&R are fascinated by 